The Peacock strategy, what is it and how can you use it to grow your property consultancy? That's what we're talking about in this video. This strategy is about showing off your expertise to, to target clients. So let me give you an example of this working in the real world. If you think about a peacock, when it opens its feathers, it's, it's almost like, like it's saying, look at me. You can't help but see it, even if you don't want to. The main reason a peacock opens its feathers is to, to attract a mate. And that's why it's called a peacock strategy, because you're trying to be seen and attract very specific clients. So back around the year 2000, we started targeting a new location in our business. But the problem was, we only had a, a couple of clients in that area at that time. We were trying to get on the radar of a few bigger clients, but they, di they didn't know who we were, so it was difficult. The issue when, when people don't know who you are is that you don't have any trust with them. They don't know if you can deliver what they need. So normally they just forget you until they see some kind of evidence that you can deliver what they need. So this is when we use the Peacock strategy. With both our clients in that area, we had a couple of fairly high profile contracts with them. And when I say they were high profile, I mean they were visually very central to the area. So the first was a, was a housing association. We were renovating a whole street of flats. It wasn't really a big contract, but it lasted quite a few months. And there was lots of scaffolding around the buildings. Plus, we had vans very visual, visually parked outside the flats. And again, this was, this was right in the middle of the town. So everyone basically had to drive past these flats to go anywhere. Straight after that contract ended, our other client in the area started a much bigger uh, contract, renovating a large hotel. And again, this was right in the center of the town. It was quite a landmark building. It was almost next door to the first contract. It was the biggest, con big, biggest hotel in the area, and literally everyone knew about it. So for about nine months, we had lots of staff and vans all parked outside this project. We had vans driving around the area at night and weekends because staff were living there. And what this did was it showed our target clients what we could do in terms of the size of project that we could take on. So as that contract was coming to an end, we actually started to get inquiries from other new clients in the area. And that was really the catapult that grew that area for us. It gave us the credibility for these other clients that we could deliver what they needed. So if you decide to use this strategy, the key is to understand how your target clients, after you're on their radar, how they might be able to, 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 to see your expertise and your capability. It's about you being that peacock. Apart from doing what we did, I mean, that, that was 20 years ago, before the time of the internet and social media, we had to do everything the old fashioned way. So how can you use this same strategy to grow your property consultancy? Using this strategy could mean doing anything that, that lets your target clients see exactly what you're doing. And that basically means showing them how you helped other people and other companies just like them. So you can use all types of media to do that creating case studies, promoting your cl clients on social media, recording a video with them. You need to show that connection with them. But there's a couple of key steps you have to follow. You have to show similar clients and similar projects to those that you're targeting. You have to show the capacity to deliver what they need. And you have to show you, you, you can deliver the outcome that they're looking for by showing you've already, already delivered it for other similar clients. Let's look deeper at those three steps. First, you have to show similar clients or projects to those you're targeting. So if you're targeting, let's say, IT companies that employ between 10 and 50 staff, well, the first thing to do is have an IT company with between 10 and 50 staff as an existing client. When you've got that, you then tell the world about it. The second step, you have to show the capacity to deliver what they need. So what does that IT company need? It might be an introduction to someone. It might be new clients. It might be new staff. What is the problem that you're solving for them? When you know that, you need to show the world how you've solved that problem. And that problem has to be on the same scale that your target clients need. Have you got the capacity to deliver at that scale? For example, if they need 100 new clients a month, 
but a company is demonstrating that they can bring five new clients a month, well, they aren't working at the, at, at the level that this client needs. But if that company showed that they were bringing 150 new clients a month for, for, for all the similar clients, then that provides that credibility and they'll attract that new client. Likewise, in our case, we were targeting the largest companies in the area. If we'd shown that we were renovating a single hotel room, then our target clients wouldn't have been interested. They needed us to have the capability and manpower to renovate the biggest hotel in the area. So that's what we showed them. And later on, we became known as a contractor that could deliver the largest projects and our competitors would, would actually direct their larger projects to us because they just didn't have the manpower to take them on. The third step is you have to demonstrate you can deliver the outcome your target clients are looking for. And this kind of blends into the second step. The second step is about showing you've got the capacity to deliver. And the third is about showing you can deliver the end result. And you do that by showing you've delivered it for other clients the same way. So you could do this by showing the process you go through to get them to that end result. And in your case, that can be things like case studies where you show the, the, the end result. It might be videos or photos with, with your client as you go through that problem solving exercise. So that's how you use a peacock strategy to grow your property consultancy.